And it's a little bit of a self-regulating process this year because the people who used to drop them in in the dark at night are not doing so. So that alone is going to, I think, improve the system. Uh, but with so many of you all here uh, from Austin and from Travis County, I thought I would just run down the list very quickly of some of the, not earmarks, but some of the funds that I was able to uh, help out uh, with Travis County last year. This is in 07. And John will tell you what the future uh, looks like. Uh, it's not bleak, but it's not as good as it has been in the past. But uh, in 07, it was nice to work with so many of you all. We got um, money for the uh, City of Boston Transportation, for Balcones National Wildlife Refuge, uh, City of Boston waste, Wastewater Treatment. That reminds me, on the day that I was able to announce the wastewater treatment, I was also able to announce some funds for some high-tech technology. And we had a news conference call from low-tech to high-tech. Uh, anyway, that was a fun day. Uh, Brackenridge Hospital, <coughs> University of Texas, Petawatt Laser, uh, Austin Police Department. Uh, worked with Farrell Cole on that uh, for the Austin uh, Police Department, LCRA, Wharton Onion Creek Water Project, uh, more for the University of Texas, more for uh, Austin, the city itself. And then I uh, worked with John Carter with John and the lead on another, and that all adds up so far to about $7 million last year, another $2.4 million uh, uh, for applied physical electronics uh, that we can thank John Carter for, along with a lot of other things as well. But I mentioned that just to let you know that the process does work, that we try to do some good for the folks back home, we try to listen to them and try to respond to legitimate needs and legitimate money that can serve the public good. And like I say, the difference is that we brag about the public good, we brag about what we're doing back home. <coughs> 